All right, uh, let's look at this uh, interesting problem called the uh, book stacking problem. All right, before we get started, I'm going to assume that the, we already know harmonic series is divergent. All right, so let's put that in our toolbox. All right, so uh, here's what's going on. Let's say uh, we have an infinite supply of identical books uh, whose mass is m and the length is l and we keep on stacking them, right? So what we want to do is try to maximize the total overhang of these guys, right? So here's the strategy. We're gonna start with the first book and we're gonna try to push it to the left as much as possible. So theoretically, we can place the center of mass of the first book right at the edge of the second book, right? So that will de determine A1. So that's going to be a halfway through, so A1 is going to be L over 2, right? So to determine the second overhang, A2, what we need to do is we need to find the center of mass of the first two books and then place it at the edge of the third book, right? So we keep on doing this, right? So to determine the, the general formula for AN, we're trying to find the center of mass of the first n books, right? So we already know that uh, um, the center of mass of the first n minus 1 book is placed at the edge of the nth book, right? The center of mass of the nth book is going to be right at, in the middle, all right? So we can actually simplify this system this way, right? Um, we can place n minus 1 book right at uh, x equals 0 which is at the edge here, right? Then we put one book, uh, mass is m, placed it at uh, right in the middle, which is x equals l over 2. Then we're trying to find the center of mass a n of this system, right? So let's write the equation in terms of uh, moments, right? So here's the moments equation, right? So putting the entire n books right at the center of mass is the equivalent to putting n minus 1 book right at the x equals 0 and putting 1 book right at the x equals l over 2, right? So I grade out the first term on the right-hand side because it's times 0, so it's going to be 0 anyway. So we can just divide both sides through by n m so that the, we can find the formula for a n. So a n uh, comes out to be, uh, so we can uh, cancel m and m here. So we have a n is going to be l over 2 n, right? So let's make sure that uh, this formula makes sense. For example, n equals 1, uh, you get l over 2. So we know that the a 1 is l over 2. And then when n equals 2, it's going to be L over 4. And you can see that the a n is actually L over 4 too. So it seems like uh, this formula is working, right? So let's find the uh, total overhang, which is going to be just a sum of all these guys, right? A1 plus A2 plus A3 and so on. So uh, total overhang is going to be a, a sum of uh, a n. So I just go ahead and put the L over 2 n as uh, n goes from uh, 1 to infinity, right? Since L over 2 is just a constant, which has nothing to do with n, we can kick it out of the summation. So you have uh, L over 2 times the remaining summation is exactly the same thing as the harmonic series. So this is going to be divergent. So any positive number times infinity is going to be infinity, right? So which means that the total overhang can be made as big as we wish by uh, using more books. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.